Hey guys, in this video I want to show you two new features for the Bricks widget creator. The nestable elements are finally there, you can do some really cool stuff with them. Then I want to talk about something that many of you guys have been waiting for. You can now create your elements in CodePen style. The creator will show you a live preview of your work. Let's go deeper and start with the nestable elements. With the new version you can select a new widget type. You can choose between the basic one and the new element type nestable. And we want to select this. As you can see a new area has been activated. With the button nestable elements we can manage all our nestable elements and we want to create one together. You can choose between all elements that exist in bricks. You can set a label for your element and individual settings. With this button we can create children of our element. And for this child we can create other children and so on. For the settings we can pass an array where we can give the element different default values and a class for styling. For this we have created several templates for you. We will look at this in detail later in the video. Let's try to create our first nestable element and check it in the builder. Let's create a block element. We want to give it a name block and inside this block element we need a heading and let's create a basic text element. Ok, let's check the result in the builder. Great, we see a nested element structure. But when we try to check the result in the front end, nothing is there. What's happening here? The front end knows nothing about our elements. Bricks wants us to render them first. For this you can use a new variable render children. And now the output works as expected. Let's try to set some default values for our elements. Here you can set different default settings for your element. It is important to know that everything you define here will be seen natively in the builder settings. This is really cool. And if you say I don't need default settings, I want to design everything manually with a CSS class. That's no problem. You can create a hidden CSS class to create default values for your element. Now we want to add some default text values for our headline and our text field. Great, seems to work. It is important to understand what data you need to enter into the settings object. For example, here for the headline we have an H3 headline. Um, we want to set an H2 as default value, so we call try to add the object key tag. And for this we want to set the value h2. Let's try if this works. Okay. 
Yes, that worked. Now let's try to work with CSS classes. Let's try to add this class to the uh, CSS area of the widget creator. And just for testing, let's try to add um, a blue color. We save this and let's check the default value. Yeah, the color is blue. We want to inspect this with the console. What we can see here is our custom defined CSS class and on the right side the values for this class. Awesome. Also good to know the user can override your uh, style sheets from the CSS class with the custom settings from the builder and that's fine. Let's create a custom class for our block element. We give it a padding and a background color. Also, we change the display to flex and center the content. Yeah, and this is the result. What if we now want to repeat some nested elements? So we know it from um, accordions or tabs, for example. We only need to activate the repeater toggle. Check the result. And great, the repeater was added and now we have a um, repeatable nested element. Now I want to show you a trick how you can easily get the names of the keys for the settings array. First, design your element in the builder. Right click, copy styles. Then switch to the console where the local storage is displayed. Click on bricks copied element and there you will see all the settings you made for this element. Now you can use these names for the settings object. But you can make it even easier. Click on copy object. Open a JavaScript to a PHP object converter of your choice. Paste your code and there, you have the array to paste into the settings. It could not be easier. Yeah, this was a small preview for the nestable elements. I wish you a lot of creativity and would be happy to see what you have created in the community templates. Okay, let's talk about the new live preview. If you switch to the focus mode, you will now see an interface that will remind you of something. You have the code area, the variables and new, the live preview. And you can change the view of this focus mode the way you like it. Everything we change is rendered in real time and displayed directly, so you can now work even more efficiently. Let's show this in a small example.
as you have seen, the live preview is reacting on HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Do you guys like this new feature? I would be very happy to read your feedback in the comments. By the way, you can still save up to 30% for all lifetime plans. If you like the Bricks Widget Creator, we would be very happy about your support. And we love it to be a part of this amazing Bricks community. I wish you guys a nice week. See you then.